assalamu alaikum students hope you all would be fine as we have talked about the human body now we have we are going to uh, do work in the workbook grade 4 science open your books open the page number first of your text the workbook see unit 1 human body name the tissues and describe their jobs we have learned about the epithelial tissues the connective tissues the muscle tissues and the nervous tissues see diagrams of them so first of all we have epithelial tissue tissue is epithelial tissue what is the job of the epithelial tissue it covers some parts of the body okay the next is connective tissue see connective tissue what is its job gives shape to organs and hold them in their own place okay the third one is muscle tissue what is tissue muscle tissue what its function or job it brings about the movement okay after that we have nervous tissues T that is tissue is your nervous tissue what is its job or function it sends signals to and from the brain Now see on the page second, uh, write down names of the following internal organs. Okay, see what is this? It's a hollow stomach. So it is your stomach. See here, it's your heart. It's your pair of kidneys. So these are kidneys. See, we have pair of lungs. See what is this? This is your brain. After that, we have a question. Label this skeletal system. Okay, see over here. This is your skull, which is protecting your brain. These are your ribs in the rib cage. Okay, protecting your heart. Okay, this is your spine. Okay, and that th this is your femur, and femur is your strongest bone in of the body. Dear students, we have done page number one and page number two. of our workbook science okay now move towards our page number 3 see here they have given you the muscular consistent concept map okay they are asking you for a type of muscle and they are, see they are giving you a proper uh, task that they, you have to write the proper name of a muscle then draw its diagram then where it is located and after that what is the function of the Uh, that particular muscle okay and we have, we have how much muscles we have three types of muscles first is our smooth muscle second is our cardiac muscle and the third one is your skeletal muscle okay first of all we are going to talk about smooth muscle okay see the diagram you can also draw diagram from here okay we have the diagram we have nervous tissue muscle tissues okay so uh, we have three types of skeletal so see over here we have these okay this is your smooth muscle this is your cardiac muscle and this is your skeletal muscle okay you can draw from here too okay let's come to your workbook page okay we have so first of all you have to write smooth muscle then after that your cardiac muscle or and after that your skeletal muscle okay then draw their diagrams as i have drawed the diagrams okay after see over here it's your skeletal muscles it's your cardiac muscles but see cardiac muscles are not interlinked but they are your uh, these your smooth muscles are interlinked okay after that you have to write their location where are they located if i talk about smooth muscles they are located in the muscles of hollow stomach intestine and your bladder structure okay means they are making up the whole uh, stomach structure hollow structure just okay it's khali jo aapka stomach hai ya intestine hai aur bladder hai masana jisko bolte hain usko sirf hollow matlab khali ek structure bana rahe hain okay after that your cardiac muscles where it is located it is located in your heart muscles okay after that you have skeletal muscles it is present in your skeleton and it helps to join two bones by tendons okay it helps to it is a join two bones by means of a tendons and helps you to support the body okay 
after that we have the function so type we have smooth muscles so its function is it helps in food digestion its first function is it helps in food digestion the second function is it also helps in water absorption how i uh, write over here water absorption see in small intestine there is water absorption so we have two function it helps in food digestion and in small intestine for water absorption after that we have cardiac muscle in cardiac muscle it helps in contraction to pump blood out of the body and relax to pump blood inside the body okay after that we have skeletal muscles see what is the function of skeletal muscles it gives strength and stability to the bones okay so your skeletal muscle is there to give stability and strength and protection to your bones okay now move towards page number 4 see over here we have concept check and fill in the blanks okay first fill in the dash are the smallest building unit of living things okay as i have told you earlier what is the smallest building block of your life that is your cell okay after that second is the muscle which make up the dash are the cardiac muscles see cardiac i told you cardiac is directly related with your heart so you have to write heart okay skeletal muscles are also called dash muscles they are also called voluntary because we can move them by our will or by our means okay after that we have all the bones of the body work together to make up the dash so they can now students this is the remaining portion let's do it do it practically okay ask your partner ask your parents or ask your siblings to do these activities then observe and write its types of joints involved in these movements okay these are all the movements and we have to write which sort of joint is involved in that movement first is throw a football okay we are going to throw a football by see there is a difference between throw and kick if we are going to kick a football then there will be hinge joint involved but there is throw so we will use our uh, shoulder so we are going to say that we are using ball and socket joint okay because we are using a shoulder and shoulder is a ball and socket joint after that we are the second is hop on one leg see if we are hopping on our one leg okay we are using your hinge joint okay after that we have we are going to do a wave a good boy okay wave a good boy a uh, good boy see when we are going to say good boy see we are using your uh, you we are using your arm not our shoulder so that would be your hinge joint okay and in hope of on the one leg we are using the knee so, um, so that knee is your hinge joint that cannot move in all the direction so it's your hinge joint okay then see in the fourth jump with with a jumping rope see if you are, are using a jumping rope okay we are using that rope in your hand we are, you are holding that in your hand but you are rotating your shoulder so that is rotating in all the direction moving in all the direction so that is your ball and socket joint after the fifth one is do push ups see when we are going uh, we are doing push ups we are using your arms okay so uh, you you used to put your arms on the floor so that is your hinge joint involved in that okay you're not using your shoulder okay after that students we have a oral project see over here you have to perform this project or this small type of oral project with by with your parents with your siblings okay as i have told you about these activities in your textbook too so you have to perform it and find out their solutions okay then come to the page number 6 see here we have choose the correct answer okay first one is which kind of tissue gives shapes to the organs and hold them in their place okay see we have read about the in the chapter that uh, the connective tissue is involved see if we are talking about epithelial epithelial forms the outer layer cardiac is associated with your heart muscular helps you to move your muscles and your skeleton so it is your connective tissue that is giving shape to the organs and hold them in their place okay after that we have cardiac muscles make up which organ cardiac muscles are making up your which organ see cardiac so you can automatically in your mind it comes 
heart okay so, but see lungs lungs are used for breathing so eyes we can see something liver it's, it's your detoxification it's used for detoxification purpose so only thing that after cardiac it comes in your mind that is your heart okay what are the muscles that perform their jobs even you even thinking about them see the means even uh, thinking about them see the means you cannot control them okay so first is voluntary muscles second one is biceps voluntary means we can control them biceps that's present your in your muscles okay after that we have involuntary see automatically without you even thinking about them means automatic so involuntary automatic so it's the right option and skeletal it helps us to move the fourth one is what makes our bones strong see i have told you in the textbook good exercise proper amount of calcium rich foods milk these all are necessary so we can say all of them are important to make our bones strong okay after that the smallest bone of the body is in the i have told you in the textbook that the smallest bone of the body is in your ear known as stirrup okay we have options i see that's not a small bone not in the nose not in the heart so the correct option is your ear d option okay see then we have fill in the blanks okay first is bone is an example of dash bone is an example of connective tissue okay second one is dash muscles contract and relax when pumping blood around the body see blood blood is directly associated in cardiac muscles because cardiac is directly related with your heart okay third one a place in a vertebrate's body where two or more bones meet see meet up point what we call a meet up point it's a joint okay after that we have the tissue that joins two bones together see two bones are connecting with each other by means of a ligament okay the fifth one is the joint that can move a part of our body in a circular see circular direction so which is ball and socket joint okay see next sixth one is the joint that can move our body in a one direction see one direction only so that is your hinge joint which is hinge joint okay the seventh one is the stomach is an example of dash muscles see smooth muscles how because smooth muscles make up the hollow organ so that hollow organ is making your uh, is actually your stomach so that is composed of smooth muscles the muscular systems work with dash system to help you move see we have muscular system but if we don't have skeletal system we cannot move so these both are working with each other to move to help you to protect your organs and everything okay dash muscles make up the internal hollow organ as i have told you which muscles to make your internal hollow organs smooth muscles okay so smooth muscles are making your internal hollow organs after that see we have match the column okay uh, match the definition in column a with the correct term in column b we have here column a and this is our column b okay first is a tissue that holds two or more bones together at a movable joint see organ no ligament yes because ligament is a tissue that holds two bones see here we have ligaments that is holding our two two bones together so okay if you are talking about two bones we have here over here two bones so these are connecting by means of a ligament okay second is the framework of the bone see we it's very obvious that framework see framework so we have the option organ no not ligament not cell it's skeleton okay so we have written d option over here after that the third is a group of tissues performing a specific function see group of tissues so group of tissues directly your organ okay after that we have a thick sheet of tissues that attach a muscle to a bone see that there is a difference okay thick sheet of tissue that attach a muscle if talking about muscle to a bone then it's tendon okay if you are talking about that it's holding two bones by means of a movable joint that would be your ligament okay 
See, the last of is the building unit of all living things. Very obvious, it's your cell. Okay. Thank you.